The Imperial II Star Destroyer was a massive, one-mile-long ship. It had hundreds of turbo lasers and was the main ship for the Empire, but the only problem was it was very fun to destroy for the Rebellion, as you see in Rogue One. But I'm going to do something interesting today. I'm going to take the Bellator Class Super Star Destroyer, and this is technically the big brother of the Star Destroyer, I'm sorry, Star Destroyer, but um, this is one of my favorite ships. You can actually see a breakdown of this ship on Eckhart's ladder. Uh, he does a lot of Star Wars uh, videos, and he's way more popular than I am, so I would subscribe to this little doggo with the Imperial hat. Today I'm going to take the finalizer, which is Kylo Ren's ship, versus the Bellator. The finalizer has nearly 15,000 of turbo lasers, and also some sufficient cannons. And wow, this thing has impressive firepower. It made me check literally three times on the Canon Star Wars page, while the Bellator only has nearly 100 to 200 turbo lasers. It has stronger shields than the finalizer, but I feel like all that firepower could get through the shields. Also, we're going to have to make some rules up because, uh, first of all, the Bellator has no fighters and the finalizer does. So we're not going to make them have fighters in this match. I'm just going to let them, well, destroy each other. The finalizer would probably go for a... Uh, sideways attack lining up against the Bellator and then shooting all of its turbo lasers trying to destroy all the shields and then destroy the ship itself so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this win to the finalizer since the finalizer has so much firepower that it's just impossible to not get destroyed and also the finalizer is Kylo Ren's ship, and I would rather let this ship win than the Bellator, even though the Bellator is my favorite ship. Thank you for watching.